Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario we're going to take another look at custom numeric formatting which will allow me to produce a value that's numeric uh, in nature but has uh, maybe some additional components that make it read better to the to the observer or whoever's whoever's consuming the data. So let's say I've got a list of invoices and by the way if you want to pause and set up some sample data you can create uh, some date values and you don't have to have the invoice numbers I've just got that there as part of my illustration so go ahead and set up some sample dates and then we'll pick it up after your break okay so in the terms column I'd like to indicate uh, that the terms for the invoice uh, invoice number 1000 are 30 days in the future so I'll type in the number 30 but I'd really like it to read as net 30 and in fact I want that to read that way for all of the values I type in the column C so I'm going to select that range of cells adjacent to the invoice dates and I'm going to bring up my uh, format cells window with the control one uh, keyboard command so the shortcut com command one uh, brings up my uh, format cells window and I'm going down to the custom group and so in the custom category I'll uh, highlight where it currently says general which is the default uh, formatting and I'm going to put the word net in a pair of quotation marks. Um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll put net uh, space, and then after that I'll put a zero. So you can see in the sample it says net 30. Uh, so it's actually using net space as a formatting element, much like a dollar symbol is a formatting element for accounting style formatting. Uh, but it doesn't change the data from being numeric to text. So I'll choose OK, and now the cell reads as net 30, even though the actual value is still a number 30. And so I can just go in and add other values. I'll type 90, but it shows up as net 90, or even 120, which shows up that way. So I can populate this list with whatever numeric values I want, and uh, because I've turned on that formatting, we get it to read the way we want, which is nice if I'm going to uh, use this um, in a way of, you know, maybe merging it with invoice data or something. Uh, so after I've got this typed up, I now want to compute the due date. So because those values are numeric, uh, it's easy for me to then uh, create some math to figure out when the invoice is due. So in cell D2, I'll start with equals and I'll simply take the invoice date and add the terms. So had we done this in a traditional way by typing in the word net followed by 30 I wouldn't be able to simply add the cell because if I had the word net as part of the cell then I'd have to extract the date or extract the number part by using the right function or separating it with the uh, text to columns function so it creates extra work and now I just can add the values. So uh, 12 1, net 30, 12 31 is the due date. And I just uh, double click to fill that formula down. And in every case, it's taking my terms, the numeric part, and adding it, uh, adding it to the uh, invoice date. So that's uh, using custom formatting so that I can have a numeric value that reads as though it was structured with text, even though it's still a number. Thanks for tuning in. Come back soon for more Excel videos. Have a great day.